Hello everyone. Today we will understand the nutrition and various terms related to the nutrition. A fourth chapter in standard 7 is nutrition in living organisms. Let us first understand the meaning of the topic. The first word that you see there is nutrition and the remaining one is living organisms. I hope you all are aware of what is living organism. Living orga organisms are plants, animals, microorganisms, all those who survive. Okay, what about nutrition? This is something new to us. So today we will study what do you mean by nutrition and various terms that, we, that are related to the nutrition. So let us start. Look at this picture. What do you see? You see a person eating food, right? Yes. So, nutrition is a process of ingesting and using food energy for uh, using food for energy in living organism is called nutrition. So, the process of ingesting, what do you mean by that? Ingesting means taking the food inside your body and then you use it for various other purposes. That entire process is called as nutrition. So, from where do we get this nutrition children? We get nutrition from foodstuffs. So, let us understand what are foodstuffs. Look at the picture. What do you see in the picture children? You see an onion here, you see an oil, and you also see certain meat, nuts and various other products, right? So, these are the products which provide us with nutrition. So, if we want to talk about uh, what are these products, or well, well, if we want to define foodstuffs, well, how will we define them? We will say that foodstuffs are the substances which are ingested, digested, assimilated to give energy, helping growth and building the health of our body. So these foodstuffs when we eat, we are going to digest this. We are first we are going to ingest it. In, when we are going to ingest means we are going to take it inside our body. Then the food stomach is going to digest whatever you have had and whatever nutrients are obtained from that foodstuffs will be taken assimilated means collected and put it in your bloodstream so that it provides you to the it provides you with the energy. It will also help us in growing and building the health of our body. So we have seen what do we mean by nutrition. And we also saw from where do we get the nutrition. Now, next. After knowing nutrition, let us understand nutrients. Now, from where do we get these nutrients? We are going to get these nutrients from food. So, nutrients are basically uh, proteins, vitamins, fats, minerals, carbohydrates, these are all different types of nutrients. Okay, And these nutrients have been classified into two categories. The first category is macronutrients and the second category is micronutrients. Now what do we mean by macronutrients? Macro means more, micro means less. So the Nutrients required in large quantity are called as macronutrients. So there are certain nutrients in our, uh, like carbohydrates, proteins which are required in large quantities in our body. So they are called as micronutrients like carbohydrates, proteins and fats or lipids. The next one micronutrients. Nutrients which are required in very less quantity. They are called as micro. They are required in very less quantity but they are necessary for the body. If we don't have those uh, nutrients in our body then we will definitely suffer from the deficiency of the nutrients. So now, my nutrients which, require, which are required in very small quantity are called as micronutrients. Okay. Now, the next one. So till now we studied what is nutrition. It is a process of taking in food and using it for various purposes. And from where do we get this nutrition? We get this nutrition from the foodstuffs. That's what we have studied. After that, from the foodstuffs, what do we get? We get nutrients and these nutrients are classified into two categories, micro and micro. There. Now let us understand 
the need for nutrition why do we need these nutrients in our body look at the picture what do you see children a, per a person exercising yes so normally food stuffs provide us with nutrition and this nutrition is required for supply of energy the second one do you see a child growing yes there was an infant first then they, he grew up to an adult yes so this is called as growth and development he is not only grown physically but he has also grown mentally so that is called as physical and mental development both so a person requires nutrition for growth and development of a body then what do we see here children if we see that there, there is a cut there is a cut in a hand yes so this is what has happened if we enlarge and observe the picture we will see the skin has got such kind of cut in it this cut damages the cells and tissues in our body okay so if if normally no in our day to day life when we see that we have got a cut after two or three days it normally recovers right so who who recovers it how does this happen it is because of the nutrients present in our body if we are healthy enough these cuts and all these problems which we have uh, will be recovered very quickly and the next one so this the so nutrition is required for replacing the damaged cells and repairing the worn out tissue so here in this cut the cells got damaged and to replace them uh, we had to make uh, we require nutrition and let us observe the food picture foods that help prevent and fight diseases so there are certain foods which help us to uh, fight with the diseases so they are very important in our body so nutrition is required basically for four purposes first to first to supply of energy second for growth and development third for repair of the worn out tissues and replacing the damaged tissues and fourth one for preventing the diseases so nutrition is required in our body for these four purposes types of nutrition see children we take nutrition from the food and there are two ways of obtaining food one that we prepare our own food and second we take food from others we are dependent on others for the food so the first type of nutrition that we are going to talk about is the autotrophic nutrition auto auto means auto means self so the mode of nutrition where we prepare our own food that is called as autotrophic nutrition so let us see some organisms like plants can prepare their own food see food uh, plants do not take Uh, help of any other uh, organism except for it makes use of sunlight water to and air for making their food so they are not dependent on others many there are certain plants which are dependent on others not all plants prepare their own food but yes the plants which prepare their own food are called as autotrophic nutrition next heterotrophic nutrition what do i mean by heterotrophic nutrition now the nutrition in which i am dependent on others for my food like you uh, like animals yes tiger lion yes they, they are uh, deer cow they all are dependent on either plants or animals for their food yes you have goat and deer who will eat the plants or they will eat the shrubs right whereas there are certain animals uh who, there are certain animals well, like tiger lion who eat flesh they depend on other animals for their food so such kind of nutrition is called as heterotrophic nutrition we'll be studying in detail about both these types of nutrient